Praise the Lord this morning. Good to be saved. Amen. Good to, good to know my sins are covered. The old writer of old said, Blessed is the man whose, sin is for, or whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. I'm glad that... Uh, I'm glad that uh, that he passed him as far as the east is from the west. The Bible said, uh, you know that you can go as far as you want to to the east, and you'll never the west, you'll never meet the west. Amen. <laughs> and you can go as far as you want to the west, and the east will always be one way, and the west will always be the other. They don't never meet. Amen. Uh, Proverbs 26 this morning. Just going to read uh, uh, one verse and uh, try to give you what the Lord's put on my heart. Uh, but Proverbs chapter 26, and uh, y'all do remember uh, revival uh, still a. Uh, uh, about a month and a half away or so. I don't know if I'd uh, had been up here since we said today, but March 18th going to be myself and Brother Kevin Sanders starting revival at Alley Valley. Uh, so do we pray for that. Pray God just move and uh, help that church. They're down too, and uh, a lot of churches that uh, that's needing that's just needing pastors, needing help, and and uh, we uh, uh, certainly the Lord knows what we need. He sure does. But Proverbs 26. And verse 1, the Bible said, as, as snow in summer and as rain in harvest, so honor is not seemly uh, for a fool. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, uh, God, we just thank you, Lord, uh, this morning, God, for another day, another uh, just a Lord's day that you've given us, God, another beautiful day, as, even though it might be rain and God and uh, cloudy out there, God, any day that you've given us is a beautiful day. And Lord, I thank you uh, for God, just uh, the ability to get out of bed uh, this morning, God, and just come down to your house for the privilege it is. As many uh, forsake it, Lord, and that they don't realize how, good, how, how much of a privilege, how much of a joy it is to come down in the house of God. And, but God, I pray this morning that you'd just, uh, I pray your anointing on the message. Lord, I pray God that you'd let me open my mouth and that you'd feel it. And God, that you'd bless this church. God, that you'd give them many souls uh, for their labor. That you'd open hearts this morning, God. And you'd just speak to our hearts. And we ask it all in the name of Jesus Christ. And amen. Now, the Bible said here, as snow in summer, as rain and harvest, and as honor. Amen. That honor to a fool. Now there's three, uh, there's three things here. Amen. And these all these three things, they all uh, have one thing in common. They are out of place. Now, uh, snow is not in place in summer. Uh, rain is not in place in harvest uh, time. And amen. And honor is not amen. A fool uh, just don't have no honor. Amen. There, amen. Honor is out of place. Amen. Around a fool. Now, amen. Now, have you ever been somewhere, amen, that you've just felt out of place? Now, if you're right with God this morning, amen, you know, there's a lot of places in this world uh, that we ought to feel uh, out of place. Now the sinner, uh, do you know what he is that the sinner uh, don't come down the house of God? It's because they feel uh, out of place. You say, preacher, that's a bad thing. Hey, until the sinner gets under conviction, they ought to feel out of place in the house of God. Uh, we, amen. The problem is, amen, they, amen, a lot of our churches that the sinner feels uh, just right at home in the walls of the church inside the four walls of the church. Uh, the sinner feels uh, just like everybody else. And uh, why is that? It's because that everybody else, amen, in a lot of our churches is just like the sinner. Everybody else in a lot of our churches, amen, is just like the sinner. Uh, you say, preacher, uh, how can you say that? Now, if that wasn't the case, amen, it wasn't, amen. I was there, Braden had a basketball game, uh, playing upward basketball, amen, down at the church. Amen. Amen. I, be, I believe now. I'm just going to tell it like it is. Amen. I'm just going to call this church. Amen. Out tonight. Amen. This morning. And I hope that one of them. I'd like to. Amen. I hope our pastor. Amen. Maybe tunes a dial to 1260. Amen. One Monday. At this, maybe this message is playing. And here's what I'm about to say. Amen. But down at Gate City First Baptist. After her. Amen. That Braden had played his basketball game. And they had the music playing there in the church. Amen. In that gym, they had that unfi- amen, that ungodly, filthy uh, rap music playing on the speakers that's supposed to be in a church house. Now, amen, it ain't right now uh, that a preacher, uh, that a Christian would feel out of place in the house of God. But boy, that's just the way it was. Amen, I felt out of place. Amen, that, amen, that gymnasium and down there at that Baptist church. I felt like I was out in the world. I felt like, amen, I was just saying, amen. Amen. Down 
the dance hall. Amen. Down the beer joint. Amen. There was no difference in the music that was playing there. Uh, my friend, our churches, amen, have gone to hell. Our churches, amen, have gone and turned worldly. Our churches are full of people that are out of place in the sight of God. Our churches are full of people that are faced to come down and hear old fashioned preaching. They feel out of place. Or why is that? Because they don't uh, have the Lord. Or why is that? Because they're so worldly. Amen. That they wouldn't know God if he's to come down and pat them on the hand. Like amen. As, as Daniel stood there in the, or laid there in the Sunday school as we read about him laying there. Amen. They wouldn't know what that was. That's right. Amen. They wouldn't know. Amen. They wouldn't know what that was, but it's snow in the heart. Amen. In the summer, as rain in the harvest. Amen. It honors unseemly to a fool, and it's honored that fool's life. That fool ain't gonna have no honor. Ain't gonna be. Amen. Amen. I've never. Amen. Amen. And you. And now I know that you've never. You've never seen snow in July. Or you've never seen snow in the middle of summer. It just don't happen. It's out of place. Now, and me and you are out of place in this world, and the world ought to be out of place in the church house. I ain't saying the world ought to be on the outside. Amen. The sinner ought to be in here. But the worldly things ought to be kept out there. Amen. The world ought to feel. Amen. When the sinner comes down here, then they ought to feel conviction. When the sinner sits in the house of God, and they ought to feel a shame. Amen. They ought to feel a content. They ought to feel like they're going to die and go to hell. Amen. That's the problem now. now this morning, church, is that people's afraid of hurting people's feelings. Uh, people's afraid. Amen. The preachers now in our pulpits, uh, they're afraid to tell people that their sin will take them to hell. Amen. They'll say, Amen, just as long as you believe, it'll be all right. The devils believe and tremble this morning. The devil sure ain't saved. The devil has got his, amen, his appointment in the lake of fire. He knows there's a God. Hey, amen, I I don't care. I don't care what kind of amen. A doctorate degree the preacher's got. I don't care if he's got a PhD or a THD. How well studied he is. If he don't preach against sin, he ain't no man of God. If he don't preach against, amen, what's sending our people to hell? Uh, he, amen. He ain't one of God's men. Amen. He ain't one of God's chosen ones. He ain't one of those that God's called and God set apart and God said, how beautiful are the feet of those that preach the gospel and bring good tidings to the meek. Amen. He ain't one of them. Amen. Amen. We need people with some backbone. Amen. Me and Brother Bruce is talking. Amen. About backbone this week. Amen. Talking about how that, amen, that sin ought to be preached against. Amen. But, amen. But you know, people will get up and we're talking about how it's easy. Amen. Talking about somebody that maybe called somebody out just right in the middle of the church and they talked about, amen, that sin ought to be preached against. Amen. But he's talking about that. That's easy. That's easy. Get up here when, the, amen. Well, I, amen. All you, all, amen. I, maybe I'll let, I'll let all the buddies are on the front pew and it's easy to call somebody out. Amen. But you know what takes backbone this morning, church, is to go to that person one on one, amen, and tell them that this, amen, that what they're doing ain't right. To go to that person and say, hey, the amen, and we don't, amen, that you can't have members sit in the church and live like and live like hell through the week, amen. That ain't easy to do. That ain't something to look forward to, amen. But nonetheless, it's something that has to be done. Hey, we live in a world, amen, where ain't nothing out of place, ain't nothing wrong, amen. This say, man, the church world, the church is getting more worldly, and the world's getting more churchy. Amen. All just going together. And amen. All going. And you know what's going to happen? The Bible said, Amen. Uh, be not unequally yoked. Let me tell you what's happening. Amen. Our world, the world's getting yoked up with the church. The church is getting under the same yoke as the world. And what happens to two oxen that's under the same yoke? They're going to go the same way. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen to our church people. They're going to go the same way of the world. And one day they'll lift up their eyes in hell and they'll wish to God they'd have got under good sound preaching. And they'll wish to God and to put off the sinful amusements of this world and cry out to God and ask God to save their soul. Amen. 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 I tell you one thing is, Amen. Everybody that goes to hell is going to be out of place. 
Amen. Everybody goes to hell is going to be out of place. Amen. Snow's out of place in the summer. Amen and amen. And everybody that's ever died and went to hell. The rich man may be as wicked, amen. Maybe as, you know, as amen, as ungrateful as he might have been. The rich man that never helped Lazarus out, that never gave him, amen, that never gave him what he should have given him. That rich man was out of place when he lifted up his eyes in hell. That rich man was out of place when he lifted up his eyes and saw Abraham afar. Oh, what a time. Amen. Oh, what amen. What sorrow and what shame and what content must have been in that amen in his mind when he looked over across that gulf and he saw Lazarus over there in Abraham's bosom and the Bible said he was he wasn't close. He wasn't near. It said he was afar off. Hey, I want you to know now a lot of our churches, amen, amen, God's afar off and God ain't been the doors of a lot of our churches in years. Hey, my friend, and we don't need to tell the youngins, amen, and the clay man, amen, don't need to get up and tell them some fairy tale, amen, amen, and thank God there's been some good ones, there's been some good, amen, some good uh, uh, devotions they've had down there, amen, to those basketball games, but sometimes people get up and just tell, amen, just like they're telling some story, amen, story out of a storybook, amen, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what our children need, amen, they need to know about the Lord, and they need to know that God said sin was wrong. They need to know that God said you die in your sin, that you'll not go where the Lord is. Uh, God said if you amen, except a man be born again, he'll, he'll no wise, he'll not go in the kingdom of God. Amen. We, amen. Uh, we need uh, we need church. Amen. Our churches amen. We need preaching. I'll tell you what's in place in the church. I'll tell you what's right or where God wants it. It's a man of God like the men of God of old that would cry out and spare not. I'll tell you what's in. Amen. Well ain't out of place. It might be out of place in a lot of our worldly churches but shouting the praises of the Lord ain't out of place in the house of God amen amen giving God praise amen getting up and thanking the Lord for what you've done for what he's done for you that ain't out of place in the house of God amen if me and you no doubt was to go to some of these worldly churches amen amen go through the doors this morning we'd feel out of place there's been places that you feel out of place there's been places Places that I felt out of place, but it ought not be that when we walk through the doors of the house of God that we feel out of place. Amen. It ought not be that way. Amen. Amen. We all lift up, we're all saying we lift up the name of Jesus. We're all saying that we've got here. Amen. We're all saying that that's who we're serving. Amen. But yet we can't worship together. Well, I'll say that's who we're serving, but yet some people's got power, and some of them just, as, as Sister Nancy already spoke about, some of them's just deader than four o'clock. Amen. Amen. Some churches, amen. If somebody's to shout, it'd scare the kids to death. If somebody's to shout, it'd scare uh, some of the adults to death. Amen. And look, amen. I've seen people, amen, look over, amen, think that right there is crazy. I've heard people talk about, amen. Amen. This person I know was, amen, they went to Maid Chapel years ago to service and they're talking about how this woman got to shouting amen amen and I and all that she's going through amen I and everything amen all the all that all that she was a shouting and all that was going amen was going on in the house of God and talking about how that they all got down and prayed and everybody praying out loud and they're just talking about like that was out of place and my friend amen I say amen I don't believe I've ever told Brother Ronnie or any of them about that but they ought to take that as a compliment and somebody that feels out of place. Uh, some worldly person, amen, somebody on their way to hell that uh, feels out of place in that church house. They ought to now. Amen, they ought to feel like that they don't fit in with the saints of God. But you know what will happen when that happens? Amen, people say that will run them off. Uh, no, I'll tell you what they'll do. Uh, they'll realize that we got something they ain't got. They'll realize that the church has got something that they need. Amen, that's what happens, amen. When the sinner begins to feel out of place, amen, they'll, they'll begin to seek for something. Amen. 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 Well, amen. I know something's wrong. Hey, if, if snow was to fall at 90 degrees outside, I'd know something was wrong. Amen. It's, it's out of place. Amen. We, amen. Just like when you go in the church house and you don't, amen, you feel out of place, there's either something wrong with you or there's something wrong with the church. Amen. Amen. We, amen. If we're all saved and we're all born again, uh, we ought to feel right at home wherever we're at in the house of God. Amen. If, amen. If that preacher's preaching the word of God, uh, we ought to feel right at home. Amen. I ain't never been a preacher 
that's ever preached anything too rough for me. I'm not going to agree with everything that I've ever heard, but hey, if they're preaching what the Bible said, amen, praise God, I don't care what they say. I don't care how rough it gets. I don't care how strict it is. If it's backed up by the Word of God, I say right back and preach the Bible, amen. I say right back, amen, just let God have His way, amen. We cry for revival. We say we want revival, but the minute the preacher starts to get on sin, we say he's out of place. My friend, if we want revival, 